Hello guys, this is Harbor Junkie. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy New Year. Now what we're going to do today, uh, we're going to do an open box on my Steffcraft bath. We're going to start doing carbon fiber cuts underwater. So let's go ahead and open it up and install it. Like Christmas again. Thought I saw something there. Okay, there it is guys. My Neo bath. I'm going to use my T-slot. Just to hold it down right in the middle. But you know what? Before I install it, I noticed that I have a bath hole. Water is going to come out. So make sure you put that in the area where it's easy and accessible to attach it. So in this case, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to put it in this side because it's going to be closer to where I would need it to dispose of properly. There it is. I'm going to install the, uh, the housing, the mill housing nipple for the uh, water to be extruded from. It comes with an o ring. You go ahead and go ahead and want to place that o ring in there before locating it in its proper place. So, the Allen wrench that I'm going to be using will be a three millimeter. And I will go ahead and insert the first bolt into the nipple with a mill bath like water extrusion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be using these little brackets. I'm gonna slide them in this slider right here inside. Slide them at the very lowest point. Go to the second one, you wanna go to the second line for these guys. Slide this guy through, bring this guy above. And let it slide right into position, put it in there, and bring it down. Stevcraft has made it very simple, very nice to be able to work with this uh, mill bath without any problems, which that's why one of the reasons why I like it. It's tight. Position. Want to make sure that those teeth lock in. White teeth in here. You need to see it right there. In the corner. There. And we're pretty much done with the installation of the mail bath. So here it is. This is what we're going to be cutting. Going to be um, doing the bottom plate on a 1.7 millimeter. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, here it goes. There it is. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Hmm. I wonder the motors will fit here. Well, what happened here with the motor? What happened to that one? <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I'm getting better. <laughs> Woo. Okay, now we just gotta poke it and that's it. Get it out of there. There's Polywog. My very first. Clean her up a little bit. There she is. Right. 
Gonna do some drilling well. What did that? Do custom fit and see what it's like. Alright guys, stay tuned and uh, I'll keep posting on the next one.